During a police chase near Green Bay, Wisconsin, an officer is shot with his own gun, a Sig Sauer P320, while getting out of his cruiser. The Washington Post reports there have been more than 100 instances across the country where owners of the P320 claim their guns went off without pulling the trigger. I'm Anjanette Levy, and thanks for joining us here on Law and Crime. The Sig Sauer P320 is used by officers at many police departments across the country. In fact, the U.S. military has issued it to service members in several branches of the military. The P320 is a relatively newer gun. It's been manufactured since 2014. A number of police officers are suing Sig Sauer over the P320 firing without the trigger being pulled. According to The Trace, which bills itself as a newsroom dedicated to covering gun violence, the P320 has been the subject of many complaints since 2017 that it can fire if dropped. In December of last year, Hobart Lawrence police officer Sam Schrader was part of a chase. His body camera captured his Sig Sauer P320 firing when he got out of his vehicle. If you slow down the video of Officer Schrader's body camera, you can see his P320 in his hand. That's a different situation from the other claims about the pistol that said the P320 sometimes fired while fully holstered. Steve Wolf is an armorer and a firearms expert. Steve, uh, thanks for coming on. Tell us a little bit about uh, what were your thoughts when you first heard about this issue with the Sig Sauer P320. The first thing I thought was how sad it was that people were getting injured because of a possible design defect in a gun. And that's not really because of the gun, it's because people let guns point at things that they don't wanna see bullets in. No part of gun safety is based on the reliability of the gun, it's based on the operator. So when we say never allow a gun to point at anything you don't wanna destroy, that would take care of a situation where a gun might inadvertently fire. Alec, and therefore you are the safety, not the equipment. There's a presumption that any piece of equipment could fail. In this case, it's particularly sad to me that it was a that it was a SIG striker fired gun, uh, because uh, you know, my bedside gun that I'd get through the zombie apocalypse is also a SIG. Generally, SIG makes the most reliable firearms on the planet. These things are just absolutely, no pun intended, but bulletproof and, and extremely reliable. But with a striker fired gun like the 320, uh, everything that makes the gun work is inside and you can't really see what's going on. When you chamber around, you're actually you know, pre-cocking the striker that fires it. The, the fire pin is now cocked and then all of the, that the trigger does is simply release it. But you can't really see any of that process where with a, a gun with an external hammer like this, you can see when the gun is cocked, you can decock the gun, and when you press the trigger, you're actually cocking it, so there's no force against the pin until you press the trigger to pull the hammer back and then release it. So maybe it's because of my age, but I prefer guns that are older and have been around a little bit longer where all of the bugs have been worked out. I don't think any of my guns are newer than 30 years old. So this was a newer gun, this model issued in 2014. Many branches of the U.S. military carry this gun or issue it to their service members. Police officers carry this gun. And we have, you know, 100 or so people saying, I had this gun, I carried it, and it discharged without me pulling the trigger. They're suggesting there's a design flaw. What are your thoughts on that? That sounds entirely plausible based on the evidence that there have been over 100 cases of people reporting this particular gun to have fired unintentionally. And you're not hearing reports about that on other guns, with the exception of the Rust movie set. So the, the, the 320 and any gun in Alex's hands are probably the most dangerous. And uh, certainly the SIG looks like it has a design flaw. 
should Sig Sauer be basically recalling this firearm? I mean, what do you think the manufacturer should be doing? I think the manufacturer should do a design recall on that particular model. They should evaluate what is causing this striker to release without the trigger being depressed, and then they should fix that and reissue it. Uh, they don't have a problem with any of their other models, and neither do any other manufacturers. So this problem seems to be isolated to this one model from this manufacturer. Sig Sauer is offering a voluntary upgrade program, allowing current P320 owners to trade in their gun for a newer modified model. Sig Sauer's website says the program was implemented after testing confirmed, quote, that usually after multiple drops at certain angles and conditions, a potential discharge of the firearm may result when dropped. The site also says the newer pistols have an alternate design that reduces the physical weight of the trigger, sear, and striker, while additionally adding a mechanical disconnector. As for Officer Sam Schrader's pistol in Hobart Lawrence, a Milwaukee TV station reports an examination of the weapon revealed it could not fire without pulling the trigger. But that department's officers are no longer using the P320. I reached out to Sig Sauer for comment. So far, I have not heard back. But the company's website insists the P320 is safe. For Law and Crime, I'm Anjanette Levy.